What's up everyone? This is Islamabad. My name is Christy. Uh, today we have a 35 minute mat class, so make sure that you do have a mat beneath you as well as uh, potentially water or a towel. If you don't have a mat, you can use a towel or a carpet. That's all good. We're going to get started now, so please turn around and sit on this mat here. Let's bring our feet all the way out in front of us. Point those toes, flex them, point them, flex them, and reach out straight in front of you. We're going to get started with some roll-ups, some abdominal roll-ups. So let's take this all the way down, one vertebrae by one vertebrae, to the mat here. Let's bring our arms right above our head, and let's reach on up, bringing those vertebrae one by one up off the mat. And... Give me three more here. Just reach all the way up for the sky here. Make sure that head, neck, and shoulders is lifted. And I'm looking at the sky. Two more. And let's just hang out right here. All right. Now we're gonna just drop halfway down here. Really, really bring our head, neck, and shoulders back here. Looking on the diagonal here. And we're just gonna start to bring our abdominals down and down. So we're tucking those abdominals, making that tucking movement here. Just tucking, tucking, yes. Looking straight ahead, looking on the diagonal. Now let's lift that right leg up slightly here and start to reach for that right leg. Reach and reach still on that angle, still looking up at the diagonal here. Give me three more, two more. Okay, switch those legs. Here we go, we're still leaning and reaching. So again, we're not sitting all the way up here, we're just reaching from a lean point here. Don't forget to breathe. Give me five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, roll all the way down. I want you to take one hand and bring it right underneath your head here. I want you to bring your knee, your left knee to a tabletop position. And we're just gonna reach on over and stretch out that leg. So we just reach on over, bringing that elbow all the way up and out. Up and out. Elbow to your knee. Yes. You guys have no idea how much sunlight I had to block out just to make this video. It's crazy. Get ready to switch in three, two, one. So drop that left leg, lift that right leg up, bring that head behind, hand behind the head. Here we go. Reach on over and up. So we're just pulling that knee in and lengthening. Curl in and lengthen. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Let's lift both legs up to tabletop. We're gonna get ready to do our bicycles. Bring those shoulder blades super wide off the mat. Head, neck, and shoulders are raised. Let's bring the opposite elbow to opposite knee. Here we go. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Keep going. Keep that head, neck, and shoulders raised up. Beautiful, guys. And a boom, 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 hold. Boom, boom, hold. Boom, boom, hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, release. We're just gonna come all the way up here and turn on over into a plank position here. I want you to bring both of your shoulder blades, uh, sorry, your elbows onto the mat here. And we're gonna bring those heels all the way back so that they're pointing, shining right towards the back of the room here. I want you to lift up so that you are in a forearm plank here. Now be careful not to let your butt kind of turn up. It's really important to keep everything very, in a very straight line towards the front here. I want you to really hug into 
into those abdominals. And just hang out with me. Oh yeah. This is such a fun song. Um, I have to be honest with you, I'm related to the person who wrote the song. <laughs> Blood relative. Or go, no copyright problems. <laughs> okay, hold on here. Push those heels all the way back. Suck into those abdominals. Deep breath in. And release. Deep breath in. And release. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come down onto your knees here. Give me a nice health pose that bring your feet and your together and your knees apart. And let's come right back into that forearm plank, bringing those forearms onto the ground into a figure 11 here. Pushing those hips all the way back. Let's lift up. And what you do is to point that right toe, move up a little bit so you guys can see it, point that right toe, lift it off the mat here, and just start to lift and squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that right toe, lift up that left toe this time, pointing the toes. Here we go. Lift and squeeze. So we're just lifting and pulsing, keeping that leg as straight as possible, keeping those hip flexors shining towards the mat, keeping those shoulder blades right above your elbows. Five in the change. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Give me a little bit of a downward dog right here just to relax it a little bit. Deep breath in, and release. Okay, let's take that left elbow and bring it into the center. I want you to pop all the way up onto your right side. You can keep this right leg above, right in front of your um, left leg, or you can keep it on top. And just hang out here. Let's start to lift those hips up to the sky. Lift and lift. Weights. You've got 
that weight right in your body that you can use to your advantage. And it's also safer, less chance, way less chance of injury with body weight exercises. For reals. All right, we're gonna go backwards in three, two, one, here we go. Backwards. All right, so we're trying to get warm here, I think. Now make sure that your shoulder blades are super, super wide here. It's gonna be easy to like wanna crouch forward, but I want you to keep everything straight up. Imagine your head is being held by a string from the sky, just like that. Oh, now, are we feeling it now? I'm feeling it. Woo. I don't know if you guys can see what's behind me, but I have this beautiful couch and a Chinese calligraphy book there. This class is called Islamabar, Bar, but I spent most of my time overseas in China, which is why I have lots of things from China in my house. I'm not in Islamabad right, Islamabad right now. Did I just call Islamabad Islamabad? I might have. Islamabad. The place where I was living until a few months ago. All right. We're gonna come into a prayer position right here. I'm gonna show you guys from the side what I'd like you to be doing. I want you to squeeze that chest area and lift up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Two more. Okay, hold it at the top right here and pulse and pulse. Now, your chest is squeezing, your upper arms are squeezing here, triceps, biceps, everything squeezing, holding everything together. That prayer position is totally not moving, not flinching. Get higher. Oh yeah, keep going. Ooh, yes, I love it. Two, five, four, three, two, hold it at the top, hold it here, squeeze everything you have. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. We're gonna take a quick like arm stretch here. So take that left arm right across your side body and clasp with your right hand the left elbow right here. Just pull it all the way over, oh that feels good. Bring your head side to side here. Roll your neck just a little bit. And take that left hand and reach out over for your opposite shoulder blade here, pulling on the elbow to get an even deeper stretch. This feels really good. And release. We're going to take that opposite arm to the opposite side here, clasping with the hand, the elbow. And just give me some neck movement here. Neck rolls. My neck gets so tense sometimes. And take that arm and bring it on to the opposite shoulder blade here. Pull on that elbow. And release. We're just going to come onto one more time um, onto this mat here. Bring your uh, hands to a very flat place here, palms facing towards your seat, which is your gluteus. And we're just going to lift up here. Okay, so I want you to be on your heels. Bring them out just a little bit further here. Separate them just about hip width length. And we're going to do some chaturanga style tricep push ups here. So lifting on up. We're going to come down for two, up for two, down, up. Looking on the diagonal here, make sure you're not turtling your neck in here. It's super easy to want to do that. Like, did you see this? Okay, but I don't want you to do that. Keep it very diagonal here. Okay, two more. Down, two, up, two, down, two. Hold it down here and pulse. Pulse. Yeah, this is the sweat generator move. This is the sweat move here. Three, five, 
four, three, two, hold it down at the bottom. Mm, one inch off the mat, side four, three, two, and one. All right, let's bring our hands out to the side this time. Palms will be facing the side. We're just gonna come one more time back up into that hip distance, hip distance move right here. Okay, bring your, um, kick it onto your heels right here. And we're gonna come out to the side. And up, down, and up. Just bringing those elbows out to the side, and up. Don't even touch the mat with your seat, with your booty. If I say seat, that means booty. Okay, give me three, give me two, hold it down, hold it here and pulse. Yes. This is how we get the change that we want to see in our arms. Five, four, three, two, hold at the bottom. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Did we even just stretch our arms? I don't even know. All right, we're going to bring that left um, foot into the inner thigh of the right foot here. I'm just going to take a quick stretch here. Before we get into our next song, our legs. The song is called 1985. Some of you guys remember that year, but probably not. And release. We're going to go to the opposite side here. And reach for that leg here. Is anyone here born in 1985? Write it in the comments below. I was not. And that's all you need to know about me. <laughs> Just kidding. I think I was seven in 1985. All right. We're going to get down onto the mat here, onto our left elbow, bringing our right hand right in front of us here. Two straight legs right to the side. And we're just going to lift this right leg up and draw a big circle. Yes. So that right left, sorry, that right leg, excuse me, is very straight here. Now what is that left leg doing? It is staying, the hip is staying stick straight on the floor here. Keeping that hip really centered. We're not kind of moving around here. We're staying very stationary on that standing leg, on that sitting leg. Let's go backward, here we go. Keeping that right leg stick straight. Pointing that toe. If at any point your left, uh, left shoulder blade is getting super tired, you can come all the way down here. It's a nice position. It's not going to change this at all, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, just drop for one quick second. We're going to take that right toe. We're going to bring it all the way out in front of us here, pointing that toe, lift it up, and then come behind. So we're drawing a triangle with our feet. Here we go. Up, drawing a full triangle, like a nice summer tent in the, in the woods, a cabin in the woods, A-shaped house, what have you. As you come Further back, you're going to get even more of a lengthening effect. So get that lengthening effect going by coming further out in front of you and further beneath you, behind you. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center here. We're going to lift this time our left leg off the floor here and lift that right leg up and close it together. So we're scissoring up and together. Keeping that left leg off the floor the whole time. Yeah. Can you bring your legs out just a little bit and further in front of you here? That's gonna give it an even more intense lifting effect. Your inner thighs is what we're working right here and now. Almost done with the side but we do have another side. That's right. 
three, two, and one. All right, let's go on to the other side. Whew, I'm getting heated up here. All right, come on, on down to your elbow or all the way onto the ground, both are okay. Totally acceptable, one is better than the other, it's both challenging. Okay, and then keep that opposite hand right in front of you here. We're gonna lift this time the uh, left leg up and draw a big circle to the forward area. I think I mentioned to you guys that the music for today's class is provided by Loy Loy and Stronger Sex. Loy Loy is, happens to be my music project. Stronger Sex happens to be that of my sibling. I'm pretty proud to introduce you guys to this music at the same time as bringing you guys these classic bar and Pilates moves that I've been doing for years and years and years and love so much. Never gets old, never stops hurting in a good way. Check in with that lower leg right here. Make sure that that hip is not moving. So it's just gonna be as, st as stationary as possible, which is why we have this hand here to support. Super important. Okay, let's go reverse. Counterclockwise, keeping that leg straight, that turning leg is straight, keeping that foot pointed on both the resting leg as well as the working leg. Yes. You can circle like this all day long. <laughs> yeah. Leg circles are really, really good for lengthening. The more you keep this leg, this working leg, as straight as possible with the toe pointed, the better and more you are going to be lengthening that leg muscle, that entire length of leg muscle. Okay, from the quadricep all the way to the gluteus medius is all getting lengthened. Three in a chain, two, and let's drop just for a second. Woo! All right, let's take that, that um, left toe and bring it all the way out in front of us. We're gonna draw a triangle again, just as we've done the other side, okay? Drawing a triangle, we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the other leg, from both of those legs to really get lengthened here. Remember, the farther front you come, as well as the farther back you go, the more lengthening effect you're gonna get here. to tell you to keep breathing. I like to breathe in a very vocal way when I'm doing bar and Pilates. It really helps to process all of that oxygen to all the parts of the body that are in it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one drop for just one second here. We're gonna lift that right leg off the mat this time, pointing both toes, lift on up that left leg, and draw a scissor movement. Here we go. Up and down. Keep that right leg off the mat. Keep that left leg as straight as possible. Can you come a little further forward? I think you can. Woo! Use those hands to really rest and draw your balance from them. Oh. All right. Three, five, and four, and three, and two. And one, beautiful. We're gonna come onto our backs now. Come onto your um, elbows right here. Um, resting your hands on the ground here, on your mat or on the ground. And we're gonna bring those heels together and your knees back so we're into a frog-like position here. Okay, toes are splayed outward. Here we go, we're lifting out for two and in for two. Out for two 
and then for two. Now, some of you guys have been with me a long time. I welcome you to split those feet up. It's gonna make it even harder. Equally, if you want to get even more out of this, you come further out and further out in front of you versus up high, okay? So the lower you go, the more challenging it's gonna be. Okay, give me three more. Two more, hold it out right here, click those heels, click, 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 click for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're gonna drop. Oh, that feels so good. All right, let's take a quick leg stretch here. We're gonna bring this left knee onto the mat. And we're going to come forward in a lunge stretch here before we get onto the next one. Really quick stretch here. Straighten out that right leg now. Bring your nose as close to your knee as you can. And release. Let's take an opposite knee. Right knee goes on the mat this time. Left leg goes forward here. Come on, all the way forward. And straighten out that right leg. Point the toe. Nose to knee. And release. Okay. We're going to get all the way down onto your shoulder blades on the mat here. We're going to bring our arms right behind us. Come into um, the uh, tabletop right here. We're going to hug the knees in and then release all the way out. Lifting your head, neck, and shoulders and release. Hug in and release. Hug in and release. Two more. One more. Lift those legs all the way up. Head, neck, and shoulders still raised. Bring those elbows, bring those hands right up, right underneath your head. And we're going to start to lift and lift. Lift and lift. For those of you who've been with me a long time, you can lower those legs down to 75 degrees right here. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Okay, keep in that lifted state position here and reach for your ankles. I want you to drop that right leg all the way down. Keeping that left leg, stick straight. You can grab onto your calf if you need to, or just reach for that ankle. I want you to keep that head, neck, and shoulders really raised. Relax the neck here. And switch. Remember, everything is super stick straight here. And switch. Draw a tiny circle with your left foot. Tiny circle, helicopter circling. Three, two, one, and switch. Tiny circle. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Hug in, all right. Rock and roll side to side, up and down. That feels so good, all right. We're going to take a quick stretch before we end this class today. Oh, it's only actually 28 minute class. Well, it's going to be 30 minutes with the stretch. Um, this is just so good for you uh, if you're on the run here and you need more time. Let's just like come onto the mat here. We're going to take this right leg and twist it over the left leg. Grab onto those shins and pull them in towards you. I have one more surprise exercise for you. If you feel like you didn't get enough, you're going to get it. And we're going to switch the direction of those legs. Grab onto one more time those calves. This is my favorite song that my sibling has ever written. It's called Temptation. Beautiful, gorgeous song. All of these are available on Spotify. And reach those legs all the way up. What I want you to do is rest your head on the mat here. Bring your hands right side by side. We're going to draw two big double Ds to the ground. 
slowly, here we go. So drawing those double Bs all the way to the ground and reverse. Oh yeah, and reverse. This is the secret bonus move. Up. Raise your head back and shoulders and down. And up, two more. You can reach forward here. And one more. And lower everything to the ground on the count of eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come into your final Shavasana here. 